the bike trail. Watch out for the door zone in the bike trail. This is what I have to put off with. Bike vlogger here. Happy 2023 springtime, Northern Hemisphere. It is springtime and it's beautiful outside. It's a beautiful day today. No rain in sight, although it's supposed to rain later today. That's okay. That's okay. Let's go left again. It's supposed to rain next few days actually, and there's actually flood warnings. I think one of my very first videos I actually rode through a street that was flooded out. It was, um, I think it was, I think a fire hydrant was just open or something. I don't, I don't think it was, I don't know. I don't know if it was actual flood or not, but well, that, that takes me back. That was a while ago. Yeah, not a good idea to ride through floods. There was another time actually when I was going underneath a bridge in a park and I rode through flood water there next along a creek. It's called Deer Creek Park, Maplewood, Webster Groves, Missouri area. And uh, I rode my cyclocross bike through it and it had my crank just underwater. Funny thing is, I wasn't actually so worried about my crank uh, getting all wet and waterlogged. I was actually a little more worried about my tires. Pop, hopefully I didn't pop the tire. Thinking my tires would fill with water, you know? That of course didn't happen, but something that did make me wonder like what would happen if I had water in my tires and not in my obviously in my tube so to speak but the tire itself like would that just evaporate eventually or is that a problem can't go left here it's one way we gotta go straight let's go straight and uh i actually took the wheels off my bike and i took the tires off just to check and there wasn't any water in there so i was fine i suppose if the air pressure was really low in the tubes they wouldn't have been you know i guess it would i guess it'd be possible if you have almost an empty tire or a tube if you almost have a flat tire that you could get water between the rim of the wheel and the tube i suppose that's possible i don't know if that's a problem though something you need to worry about Keep going straight here. Woo. Up the hill. Up the hill. And yeah, we're in sunglasses, so it looks pretty dark, but it's actually not that dark. It's just kind of overcast. So I think we're good right now. So I'm definitely not set up with a bike with rain fenders or anything like that. Blah. Stop ahead. Stop. Stop ahead! Stop here now! Cross traffic does not stop. So we become cross traffic if we go this way. And then we don't have to stop, right? Isn't that what the sign said? Shroom! Shroom! Some noise back there. I think they're doing some construction or something. Always something going on around. Some sort of construction project going on. All right, this is Kraft. Let me go left here, watch out for FedEx. FedEx has two different colored trucks, doesn't it? It has like a, a blue and a, or kind of a blue, a blue and a green. Uh, FedEx also has a, like a blue and an orange, doesn't it? I don't know what the difference is. If one truck is like for different deliveries than another, I don't know. Just giving FedEx free. Oh, he's going right. Okay. Okay. You can use our signal next time. That's all right. I didn't throw my arm out signaling I was going right either. Whew. Oh, man. Bumpy road. Bumpy road. We're on Clayton Avenue going east. Figure we go through the park a little bit. It ain't uh, Earth Day yet. I think Earth Day is April 22nd or 
21st, something like that. Somewhere thereabouts. Um, so we're still, uh, still a month out of that. I'm gonna go left here. Yeah. I don't know if the camera catches it, but this road is very bumpy and gravelly almost. It has something to do with that road closed ahead. Let's go check that out again. Did that in a previous video, but oh, let's go see what they're doing over here. More construction. Uh, it's a pedestrian up ahead. So we will jump to the other side. Go into the the road here for a little bit it's one way but it's nobody nobody coming up at me yet so that's okay i'm gonna go to, over here to the sidewalk there we go all right let's see what they got going on over here last time we were over here they had some really big pipes it looks like they're all gone now i don't see them anymore i think that video was titled i can't i can't no more i can't yeah so the pipes they had little baby pipes they gave birth to little baby pipes maybe that's what happened i don't know the big pipes are gone big pipes is gone i don't know if i can get through here maybe if i take the sidewalk i don't know they got construction going over there i think i'm gonna have to go around let's do that Go around. Actually, I think I could go to that sidewalk. Let's do the sidewalk. We'll go past them real quick. Pop. As long as they're not driving on the sidewalk, we should be good. Their machinery. Uh, actually, the sidewalk's all gravelly, so we're not going to do that. Thought I could get through there, but I might still be able to, but let's just go around. Let's go around. Get a little more exercise going around anyway. Back up the hill again. Back up the hill again. I go left here. Yeah. Whee! Okay. All good. All right. Just have to go one block over. To Art Hill, Art Hill, no stop sign. Okay. Oi, oi, oi. I'm just chancing it now. I'm playing chicken with the weather. It said like a 90 some odd percent chance of rain in maybe a half hour. Go left. That says that road that was closed. We're gonna go right across the ridge. It's a highway down there. You. That is the highway. Get a good view of it here in a second. So I know you want to look at the highway. Get on the trail here. We nice and easy. Boy. Alright, now it's nice and smooth because we're on the bike trail. <laughs> bike trail proper. Kind of loud though, next to the highway. Woo. Celebrate 2023. Springtime. I do notice more people seem to uh, pay attention to my videos during the actual cycling season. I do have a lot of neat winter videos though, if you're interested. I got a playlist on all that goodness. I don't know if it's actually labeled winter, but you just look at my videos that are from winter time. I have a snow playlist though. Riding my bike in the snow. Riding my bike in the snow. It was actually a very lax, very subtle winter this year. 
not a lot of snow. There was some snow around Christmas time, but that was about it. That was about it. Whew. It's a cyclist down there. I'm trying to, uh, I'm not really keeping pace with them. I'm kind of going ahead of them. It's okay. Downhill, down, down, downhill. Whee! Oh, it's a little wet down here. I don't know if that's because it did rain this morning or something. Really early morning. I don't know. Yeah, I tend to go to work really early in the morning. So I find that's the best time to ride a bike. Like 5 a.m. Less traffic and stuff. Whew. How about you? How about you? Do you uh, go into work real early? Bike commuting to work? Do not bike commute to work? But you still watch my videos anyway? Thumbs up for that. Thumbs up anyway. Thumbs up anyway. This is kind of a bike commuting channel, but it's also just me. A guy riding his bike. The bike vlogger. Blah, 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 bike vlogger. Yeah, a bunch of smaller trees here though, right? Eventually they'll become big trees. Eventually. If we go by here enough times over the years, we'll see them grow up to be bigger trees. Like there's some bigger trees here to the right. I don't know if I have any old videos from when they were smaller. Those trees are pretty big. Those trees could have been planted uh, when they were little and then add 10 years and that might be about what they look like. I don't know. When they were first planted. Downhill. Now there were some trucks parked along. Yeah, they're still parked along here earlier today. Have to be careful. Watch out for the door zone in the bike trail. Watch out for the door zone in the bike trail. This is what I have to put up with. I can't, I can't, I can't put up with it anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna get off the bike trail here, I think. Nobody behind me. That's a good thing, because I'm just kind of leaning over. All right, onto the street. Horses. Yeah, the, the trail is really bumpy here. There's a horse behind me. I can show you. See? There's the horse butt. I can go up over to the right, but actually that would just take me back to the bike trail. So I'm going to go keep going straight. So it'll take me out to the street. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Da -da. It does feel like from earlier today, I mean, it was actually pretty chilly in the morning, but now it's later, it feels a little warmer, but I feel like it's getting colder again. Like it's gonna, the clouds are just gonna crack and rain on me. I'm gonna burst. Kapow! Nobody in the street. So it's quiet. Up. People hit golf balls over there. You can just stand like at the top of that hill and you swing a stick, a club. And you hit balls. People pay to do that. <laughs> hey, I just go buy, buy a plot of land and then charge people to hit some balls. People pay good money for that. Let's make a left here. I think. Is that what we're doing? We're going to go left down here? Or I could go straight. This guy thinks I'm going to go through the stop sign. And I'm going to freak him out by not doing that. <laughs> That car did not expect me to stop at that stop sign. Hey, you know, the important thing I always say when you're riding a bike on the road is to be consistent, you know? So if you're not going to stop at stop signs, I don't want to say never stop at stop signs, but be consistent about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you're going to ride your bike on the road, you really should ride in a straight line because I'm kind of following the crack on the road. Crack's not exactly straight, but kind of following 
equidistant from all the door zone there. Uh, if you're weaving around like you're going year ohm, year ohm, year ohm, that, that might be a good way to get the cars to slow down around you. Because it'll be like, oh, this cyclist is completely unpredictable. But then again, not everyone's going to react the same way. Some people are just like, oh, whatever, and just go around, speed up and go around. So, nothing in life is really consistent. That's what keeps things interesting. But if you try to be consistent yourself, you can try to avoid bad situations. Let's go actually up the hill here. Oh, what's going on over here? Road closed. They don't want me going to the right. That's okay, but let's go to the right anyway. Let's see what's over here. Let's see if we can go down here. It looks like part of the trail is closed, but I don't think the whole trail is closed. Yeah, just to the left is closed right now. It looks like they're doing some work. I don't know what they're doing over there. Something with the land. Actually, there's a... <laughs> there is a... Um, a jogger over there so maybe i can go through there let's try doing that thing is we're on two wheels the jogger's on foot so the jogger can uh find his way around share the path oh okay so it is open i just gotta share the path I'll watch out for the jogger let's go see what's going on over here it is open and you got the uh the big uh, barriers opened up. Looks like this path has been redone. This actually used to be a gravel trail and now it is asphalt. And it looks like they're taking out the, they're doing something to the trail over there to the right. And I'm not a fan of this. I'm also a runner, not just a cyclist. I like to run on, you know, natural, you know, dirt paths, gravel paths, this sort of thing. Prefer not to run on concrete. Asphalt's not as bad, but that's a shame. They're taking out the gravel trail there or something. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they're moving it to the other side. I don't know. I don't know. Wish they'd keep the gravel trails. They've been taking them all out. It must be a maintenance thing or something. I don't know. It's better that way, though, as a gravel trail because uh, storm water runoff, you know? They actually have these things in parking lots where you can actually create kind of a porous uh, pavement, basically. So the rainwater can actually get through and kind of at least partially soak up into the ground, into the soil where it belongs. But uh, when they build all this impervious surface, the water can't obviously get through it so it's gotta go somewhere, and what ends up happening is it goes into the sewer system. Where does the sewer system go? The sewer system goes to the waterways, the creeks and stuff, okay? The creeks are not, you know, used to dealing with extra water that should have been going to the soil. So where does that water go? It goes right into your, right into your living room. Especially houses that have to be built near creeks and stuff, because they flood. They flood more constantly, and nowadays, in recent history, we've been having large rain events, so that's just extra bad. So you can see how this is kind of a domino effect. So you're getting a little edumacation today. Stop building parking lots, stop building impervious surfaces, except for where the bikes go. <laughs> except for where the bikes go, although you can ride a bike on the gravel. That's what the Katy Trail is about. And I don't know, is really the maintenance more expensive for a gravel trail than a, like an asphalt trail? I don't know. Maybe it's the unions or uh, politics or something like, why are we paying for all this asphalt when we could do something like dirt or gravel or something? Now there was that town, I think it's Times Beach, out west here of St. Louis, Missouri, USA area where they had gravel roads everywhere, like a lot of places back in the day. And they'd spray it with, uh, with oils. There's some sort of a 
petroleum product, I think, and it caused cancer or it was cancerous. And uh, so they eventually bought people out. It was like a little resort town. That's the story at least. I don't know if people got bought out or they just, they took a loss. That's the other thing. We're just rambling now. Timeshares. I didn't know timeshares were still a thing. They don't call them timeshares anymore. They're called um, vacation clubs or something. <laughs> uh, yeah. People with money getting duped into buying things that now is pretty much obsolete because of, let's make a left here, because of Airbnb. Now you can stay almost anywhere now with Airbnb. The uh, timeshare thing is kind of a joke, but I don't know, there's people that really like it. It's like, you, you know, some people really like their car salesmen, even if, you know, the current generation of their offerings may be junk. At one time they liked what they had, but they still like their salesmen, so they still throw in business. Hey, whatever makes you feel good, right? That's the goal in life. What makes you feel good? Riding a bike makes me feel good. Riding a bike not getting rained on unexpectedly makes me feel good. Makes me feel good. Yeah, they cut down all the trees here. Let's make a left. So they killed all the, what are they, pear trees? I don't know what they were exactly. So they killed all the trees along here in the park, Forest Park, and they planted new ones. And their excuse was the ones they had planted were invasive or not native. I don't know if they're not native species or what the deal was, but they were doing fine. They didn't have to kill all the trees. And so they replaced them with other trees. I don't know, whatever. Let's get off the sidewalk. Go right here. It's odd, there's no trail that connects over at the uh, visitor center over to here. You know, you have to get on the street, which is fine by me, but it's a little strange because there is a trail up here to the right. It's just not light right along there. Now it is an extra wide sidewalk. I guess you could consider it's a trail. That's a little strange, I thought. Oh no, there is a connection. I forgot. This is the connection right here. There's a little bridge over there. It comes back. This why. Let's turn around. Let's turn around. Nobody behind me. Nobody behind me. Yeah, watch for the toe overlap with the wheel there. Let's go right. Boathouse. Let's get down into the street here. Uh, I want to actually get up into the trail here. And there's always this puddle right here. You got to watch out for it. There we are. All right. Yeah, so there's some water over there. We could stop and look. I don't really want to stop though, because I got a good, I don't want to lower my heart rate too much. Getting a good exercise, but there's a, there's like boats down there, little boats you can ride on. Let's keep going, let's keep moving, keep moving. Whew. There's a family back there with bikes. I don't want to get in their way. Oh, I also want to crash my bike. They stopped back there though, so we're good. <laughs> Stop goofing around. Stay on the trail here. Neat water feature. Da 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 da. Somebody with a dog way over there. Da, 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 da. I think it was like maybe a couple years ago, some time ago. I actually walked across the water there. Yes, that's right. I walked across the water onto that little island over there and I walked around a little bit. It was during winter and there was ice and it had been frozen for, it hadn't gotten above freezing for like two weeks. So I don't know exactly what the 
the rule is on that it's gonna be kind of dangerous it's gonna make it right kind of dangerous going uh walking on ice especially across a a deep body of water but any body of water really especially when it's really cold how long it takes for it to really freeze hard enough that you can actually walk on it but yeah it had been two weeks where the temperature hadn't risen above freezing so i felt it was pretty safe and maybe that was stupid of me i don't know let me know come sick bro come sick bro but there was a big tree that fell down over there they're slowly cutting it up you can see there's still a bit of it left over there I know all the history through here. <laughs> I ride my bike through here so often. Up, up, up the steep hill, up the steep hill. This hill's never gotten any less steep. Whew. One way that would happen is they'd have to make it less steep. Over time, erosion, you know, take things out but Whew. oh man wow that was a, that was a I was looking at a big uh stump back there they cut down a uh, huge tree over there the stump was probably at least six feet wide it's huge there's a uh there's a way you can figure out the age of a tree based on the size of the trunk and uh, a very simple uh, multiplication factor, pretty much. Uh, some of the faster growing trees, I think the multiplication factor is three. So uh, I think it's per inch. So if a tree is like, what, six feet wide, which is what 72 inches or something like that so 72 times three and that's for a fast growing tree some trees have a higher multiplication factor because they're slower growing like four or i guess even five so it's possible that tree back there that could have been over 200 years old dang yeah the stump was pretty much gone they hadn't ground it down yet but that's pretty interesting how old some things are makes you feel not as old yourself <laughs> and you know there's other things around that are or were quite a bit older than you up up the hill so yeah like that tree there again just using a multiplier by three i guess like a couple feet wide maybe so that thing could be over 60 years old. This tree here on the left too, near the trail, that could also be over 60 years old, possibly. It's a little smaller. Woo. All these senior citizen trees. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I've come along this, this section right here, the park before at nighttime above me bats i think bats like to hang out around right here i don't know what it is but i've uh <laughs> had some pretty close encounters with bats and uh just like any any possible you know creature you encounter in the wild could have some sort of disease so gotta watch out for that so i remember another time i think it was that way across the road I think it happened, I don't, know if, I don't think it was in one of my videos. I think I talked about this before. I was out running, and again, it was nighttime, and uh, something hit me in the back of the head, you know, and it felt kind of like a bird or something. That was probably a bat. The state of misery has many caves. We're kind of in the center of the continent, and we got a lot of caves. So I guess that means we have a lot of bats. But I don't know where bat. I mean, every bat probably isn't the same. I guess some bats live in the trees or something, or maybe they burrow underground. I have no idea. I have to bring up Wikipedia. Bring up Wikipedia. Interesting. I got a. Uh, I got a. I don't know if you can get. I guess you can probably get them online. I have a CD-ROM, or maybe it's a DVD-ROM, of Wikipedia. 
I backed up Wikipedia back in 2005 or something. So I have a Wikipedia copy at home, somewhere in my desk, I think. It's from like, you know, 20 year old Wikipedia. <laughs> I think you can see the revision history on everything on Wikipedia though, but that's kind of interesting. I'll take a look at that again sometime. I think it was before the uh, 2008 presidential election at least. I don't know if it was before the uh, Iraq conquest, but it was in the early 2000s, I think. Let's uh, cross the road here. Let's get across the road here. When it opens up. When it opens up. Did we see that jogger before? I don't know. I thought we saw some guy with red pants. Like a, nah, it's not not opening up we'll just have to go up to the light i guess or just give it a second let's turn around i got a red light over that way so i think we can cross here now there we go it all works out getting into the sidewalk getting into the sidewalk yeah pedestrian up ahead we'll make a left here gotta go around the stupid fence <laughs> yeah funny thing is that that little chain link uh little fin little miniature landscape fence post wasn't there i probably would cut across their property damage the corner of their set property there they wouldn't like that smart on them let's get onto the street why well that's what we have this week for you fellas and gals hope you enjoyed this bike ride this week let this be a public service announcement to you every week to remind you to get out and ride your bike it's beautiful outside happy spring 2023 thanks for watching bike blogger out Woo!